On Friday, March 11, 2011, a devastating earthquake and tsunami hit Japan, killing more than 11,000 people and injuring so many more. Good evening. My name is Lali Mohammed from Deviant Productions and we join you today at Buddies in Bad Times Theatre for an earthquake relief fundraiser called Love Letters to Japan, organized by a group of really inspiring and amazing queer Asian youth. We're now with Meza Dowlin, event organizer of the cabaret fundraiser, Love Letters to Japan. When did you begin the planning of this event, Meza? Um, it was, I think, the weekend that uh, after the earthquake happened. And uh, my friend um, sent me a message. He's, she's like, do you want to do something about it? Like, we're, we're both feeling really upset, like just watching the news, couldn't do anything. So that's how we get started. And I called out the meeting on my Facebook. And then why this type of fundraiser? Why a cabaret? Um, I thought we have so much uh, talent in queer Asian community that's not being shown. So we, we thought, let's put everybody together and do a queer Asian cabaret and with their allies and, and make it uh, to showcase our culture and also support our community. We're now with Christine from Raw, Raging Asian Women. Um, thank you for joining us today. Um, what, uh, or in what ways has um, the tsunami and earthquake affected your group? Well, we're a group of East Asian and Southeast East Asian women that have come together to carry on the taiko, North American taiko tradition. And there's members of our group that have um, come from Japanese descent. So they actually have families in Japan, relatives. But even if they didn't, I think that um, we as a group would um, um, have a sense of solidarity with Japan and want to support them. Young One thing that is certain in life is death. And death doesn't care how old you are, how much money you have, or where your background is, or where you come from. It will sneak up behind you when it wants. We're now with Ramon Vitug, actor, singer, dancer, who just performed a really touching and poignant piece called Ticking. Why did you choose this piece today to perform? Well, it was the Japan Cabaret fundraiser, so I thought, you know what, this is a really special, um, special event. So I wrote the monologue specifically for this event, and I wanted it to be uh, something that people would really uh, hold on to, um, something that they'd remember. Uh, and you know, the issue was very sensitive, and I knew a lot of people here that uh, came actually are Japanese, so even to them, like, I know I just wanted to really touch the audience tonight. We're now with Bing Lee, one of the event organizers today um, for the Cabaret Fundraiser. There seems to be a lot of young people um, putting together this event. Do you think that says something? Um, I think it shows that it's not only the adults in the community that show compassion and commitment to helping out. When people see us young adults and teenagers or whatever, like it shows that there are a lot of people everywhere that want to do their hand. Like Even children are part of this as well. It's showing that you can do it too. All you have to do is try.
hope you enjoyed yourself today as some of Toronto's finest artists came together in solidarity. To help the brave people of Japan, feel free to click on this link and donate today. In solidarity, this is Lali Mohammed from Deviant Productions.